Thank you for looking at our video today. So this today we're going to look at the principle of using a tightrope possibly in other areas other than the ankle. You may know from our other videos uh, what's called a syndesmosis injury, which is an injury where the connection between the tibia and the fibula down at the ankle through those red ligaments there uh, is injured. And that syndesmosis injury is often repaired with something called a tightrope, which is essentially two little buttons that are placed either side of the ankle with a synthetic fiber in between, which does the job of those ruptured red ligaments there in the picture. And our video today is on whether that uh, device can actually be used in the foot for an injury known as a Liz Frank injury. So the Liz Frank injury involves something called the Liz Frank ligament. And the Liz Frank ligament is a, is a rope essentially that runs by, through a bone called the medial cuneiform to another bone called the second metatarsal. Uh, and that ligament is very, very important for the overall stability of your foot. It is a common sporting injury. Now, basically what that ligament does, it connects the bones in line with your big toe to the rest of your foot. So the big toe bones are marked there in purple and the rest of the foot marked there in yellow. And so if that ligament is ruptured, so it's in two parts or more, then that can affect the stability of your foot. You can get arch collapse, you can get arthritis, and it can certainly cause you ongoing pain. So the question is, is whether that tightrope device that's been used in the ankle could also be used for a ligament injury in the foot, known as a Liz Frank injury. So the question answer is yes. You can see that someone here has placed a tightrope across the foot, sending from the second metatarsal, the medial cuneiform there, so you've got a button either side with a synthetic ligament in between marked there by the, uh, the red dots, uh, and it has been used. Now, it hasn't been used commonly, so the answer is yes, you can use it, but where has it been used? Predominantly in athletes. So this is an Australian study they looked at, where they actually looked at uh, seven rugby league players. They also looked at uh, two professional dancers. Uh, other athletes they had was a gymnast, so it had a single uh, gymnast. They also had a wakeboarder. And then the last uh, type of athlete they uh, had was a professional rugby league referee who covers an awful lot of kilometres running back and forth during a game. Now, they looked at these athletes and looked at when they started weight-bearing, when they returned to play, when they returned to competition. They all returned. So they actually returned to weight-bearing about four weeks, which is much better than the plates and screws that people usually get. They returned to competition between 12 and 16 weeks. And furthermore, they returned to training between 9 and 12 weeks. So uh, they actually did really well. Um, this is a small sample size that you need to remember. These are all elite athletes. And also, Liz Frank injuries comes in, come in all shapes and sizes. This, they may have been on the more minor side of injuries, potentially. So take a look at our Liz Frank injury video to get a better look at what those injuries involve. But look, it can be done. It's something to discuss with your doctor or surgeon if you think you've had this injury. Please take a look at our other videos on Liz Frank injuries. Or if you like our video today, please subscribe to the Foot and Ankle Orthopedic Surgeon.